Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It's time for one of our favorite segments. Our girl, Danny Canada, the deputy editor for a boss up. Say that in a tongue twister. <laughs> yes. She is here, and as always, she has the scoop. I do. Yes, I do. And we're going to dig right into this ice cream, girl, because. Let's scoop it out. Let's scoop it out. Kenya Moore got? is yes. coming back to the Housewives, and we know, in yes. true Nene fashion, she's got something to say. She's about got it. some shade to throw Give us there. The tea. Yes, so uh, Kenya Moore is coming back for the new season of Real Housewives of Atlanta in November. Nene Leaks is not not the happiest about it. She sent, some, she sent some shade Kenya's way while on Wendy Williams. She pretty much said that uh, Kenya could never be in her spot, never have the top spot on Housewives and have her peach. And Kenya actually <sighs> responded to this. She was outside of Sally Beauty Supply for her more hair care launch. Mm -hmm. And she told TMZ that Nini is a bully with very few friends. Oh, no. So she understands why she's mad, because she's always upset. That's just so stupid, though. So it, I, I mean, don't just see, be castmates and keep it moving. I don't know why there's such a big issue. Like, they <sighs> used to be friends, and they fell out. And and the ain't nobody married. I'm just saying. Yeah. No. Uh, it's well, just a mess. No. Well, let, speaking of reality, we're going to yes. jump into these reunion shows that keep happening, and people Woo! cutting an absolute fool. Girl. But this time it's on Basketball Wise. Girl, so the Basketball uh. Wise reunion went down, and there is this newer cast member. Her name is OG, mm -hmm. and she has been feuding with Evelyn Lozada. They've had this back and forth beef all season. OG said that Evelyn's ex, Chad Ochocinco, wanted to talk to her. She brought up text message receipts. It went and got really nasty. Then she called Evelyn a racist. All this went down, right? Well, Evelyn was cutting the fool, though, in the episode. You saw okay. that. You saw that, right? So here comes the reunion, and actually they asked OG to film on a separate stage what? from the rest of the cast because they said that OG is aggressive and they're scared of her and they're really nervous Shia. about it. But you know who got in trouble for this was Shawnee O'Neal. She got some yeah, shade. I'm sure. So Shawnee O'Neal, this is her baby basketball wise, and they basically said, Shawnee, you're playing favorites with Evelyn. Evelyn Lozada is the same person who threw a wine bottle at yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah jumped across tables to attack someone, threw drinks in people's faces, and they're like, OG didn't do any of that, so why can't she be on the couch? Man, I just don't understand. When you up there in age, you don't need to be acting like That's that anymore. Like, really, though. I like, feel like ladies. I'm too old for that. Not much younger than that. Yeah, no, my children are too old for that. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, just, it's just very, very messy. So speaking of mess, yes. what's going on with Jim Jones and his house? Okay, so Jim Jones, he actually confirmed a boss of exclusive. We pulled up a report saying that he sold one of well, one of his houses sold into full foreclosure for a hundred dollars. <gasps> so this no. this is actually true. He was on the Breakfast Club and he explained it. He said it was a business move. He said, I own several properties, I owe more on this house than it's worth. So he just let it go. He let it go into foreclosure. Where was said, I with that hundred dollars? <laughs> I need mean, a hundred dollar house. Yeah, I'll I'll take one. Yeah. My kids, my kids, get them Bye, bye, boys, bye. Okay. Okay, now let's talk about Tyra Banks. Because, yes. you know, she's been kind of out of the scene for a while. She has been out of the scene. But now she's been a little outspoken. She has. And she was candid. She was really candid about being um, emotionally abusive yeah. for, for a relationship on TV once. Right, uncensored. right. So she was on Uncensored, and she was recalling at a time when she was in an emotionally abusive relationship. She said she and this man broke up 14 or 15 times, and he told her flat out, he was like, this is what I do. I break women down. Yes, I am being what? abusive to you. Yes. And she stayed. And she stayed. 14 or 15 times. Gosh. Literally that. And she explained that she used to side eye women who what? stayed in these kind of relationships and she had to look back and be like, well, I literally did the same thing. That's crazy. That is crazy. Hit so me again, I can put some steak on it. <laughs> She's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> She's coming, she's coming clean about it. She's realizing the error of her ways. And yeah, so it's all on uncensored. And I appreciate her candor, her yeah, honesty with that. Yeah, but you don't go back 15 times. That's though. a mess now, 15. Nah, 15. You break it with me twice, we, we done, we gone. Right. Okay, so um, speaking of Ike, yeah. Tina Turner. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Okay. What's this about Tina Turner not being particularly nice to Elton John? So this is messy. So Elton John has this autobiography coming out mm -hmm. in it. He's basically blasting Tina Turner. He said that they were supposed to go on tour together. Tina wasn't very nice to him. She would tell him, stop wearing Versace outfits. They make you look fat. You should wear Armani instead. Oh, my gosh. That's oh, petty. Oh, petty. Oh, petty. Um, he said that she didn't trust him to play Proud, Proud Mary. He said you can stick it where the sun doesn't shine <gasps> like it's just they apparently had this messy feud no one even knew about and he's bringing it up in his what? book I just with, now with Tina Turner really did she say that, that no, is, I don't know she's that, staying with Ike he put some bank on it come on no, now that is, that <laughs> is a, a whole mess but she was a, she was abused so hurt people hurt people that's what they say that you is know what, what they I'm say saying. but she, she definitely hurt Elton John's feelings well so. 
but people getting in their feelings. I talk about Jordan Woods. Yeah. She said that she was fat shamed. She said she was fat shamed. Come so, on, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan Woods, the ex Kardashian friend, Jordan Woods, she has a YouTube channel now, and on it, she was talking about being fat shamed. And she said, growing up in Hollywood, she would be around these stick thin girls, and she never felt like she fit in. Then one day, she was spotted out with Willow Smith. The paparazzi took a picture, and she said all of the comments were fat shaming her. And it made her feel very bad because at the time, she was like maybe 12 or 13, and she couldn't understand why grown people would be shading her oh, like well, this. See, well, that's not right for grown people. But yeah. Jordan, you have to know, understand, and realize mm -hmm. you're black. We are born with curves. We no are. matter who you hang around, they're not going anywhere. You know, we are talking about Hollywood. You are curvy. You are black. God made us this way. Yes. Embrace it. Chicks. Yes. I think she embraces it now. She said that the gym is like her outlet. She works out like five times a week. But back then, she wasn't she wasn't comfortable with herself. So I'm glad she's changed. Well, I'm glad she's uh, feeling all right in her own skin now, mm. girl. Well, I love having you here. You're I one of my favorite here. segments like yes. ever in the whole entire world. I love being here. So thank you so much for all this fabulous tea. And you can keep up with these stories and more on Bossup and all social media platforms.